Well, over the last few months, there has been some speculation that there may be a shortage of corn seed across the country, what with higher commodity prices this year. However, while we were here in Hawaii, the Iowa Corn Growers Association, as well as the USDA and the Monsanto Company, announced that there would be enough corn seed to go around this spring once farmers across the country fire up their planters in about two months. In fact, much of the corn seed grown and used around the world is produced right here in Hawaii. The Monsanto Company has a state-of-the-art research facility growing corn seed here, and its senior researcher, well, he's got ties to the purple and gold. This is, this is our, our high season on the farm. Although Dr. Jerry Dill is more than 4,000 miles from his home here in Hawaii, he's never far from his alma mater. His LSU cap is always present in his truck as he traverses the rows of Monsanto's seed corn operation here outside Oahu. A native of Houma, Louisiana and raised in Crowley, Dill came to Hawaii three years ago to oversee the company's hybrid corn seed research program. 2011, he said, was a record year for Monsanto's seed corn production. As a seed industry, this past year we shipped a record 10 million pounds of parent seed from Hawaii back to the mainland. The biggest advantage to producing corn seed here in Hawaii is its year-round growing season. Having the ability to keep varieties in production all year enables Monsanto to get new seed technology into the hands of farmers faster. Within about an eight-month time frame, we can do two generations. We can then take that seed, if we started in the winter here in Hawaii or December, sent that seed to South America in the fall, it could be planted on a large acreage and then a large production field would go back to the Midwest that could be planted, that could be turned into to a substantial commercial launch. But there are challenges to growing corn seed here in Hawaii. Strict environmental regulations regarding land and water use means researchers it like Dill have to use the latest innovations to produce the millions of pounds of seed needed for the world's farmers each year. Drip irrigation helps water and nutrients get to the plants more efficiently, but the most tedious work comes during the pollination phase of the crop. Once the tassel or the male part of the plant starts to shed pollen, we'll put a paper bag on the male part and then the next day we'll come down, we'll tap the pollen into the bag, we'll take the bag, remove this ear chute, put the, put the paper bag over it, fluff it a few times and staple it around the corn plant. That will pollinate. That way we know that this plant got pollen from this tassel. We will do this 10 million times this year here in Hawaii within Monsanto Technology. Jerry Dill says even though Oahu is a long way from Crowley, it's hard not to be mesmerized by the beauty of Hawaii. Looking out over Diamond Head each day, well, working here in Hawaii has its own rewards. Well, someone once told me I would get tired of looking, you know, we would, we would start to ignore the view of Pearl Harbor and the, and the Waianae Mountain Range and uh, it would become uh, something that, that would be old hat and uh, hasn't yet in three and a half years. And, uh, every day when I get up and come into work to get to look at this is pretty incredible. Now other companies such as Pioneer, BASF, Dow AgroSciences, and Syngenta also have genetically engineered seed operations here in Oahu. In fact, according to the Department of Agriculture here in Hawaii, the genetically engineered seed operations and its related industries contribute more than $250 million a year to the Hawaiian economy.